Merry Christmas, you filthy animals. Whoa, that's really cold. And yes, it's real beer. I'm gonna drink a real beer on the internet. What do you think? Pretty Christmassy, huh? Actually, you know what? I think I could do one more. Hey. Welcome to another episode, and a particularly special episode, because this is the Second Life Bikes Christmas episode. Um, it's a few days before Christmas. Uh, I don't actually know exactly when I'm going to put this out. It's actually two weeks until Christmas, roughly. Um, but uh, I wanted to make a last minute gifting video. Um, I thought about doing a video about kind of like gifts that you can get for people. Um, and that was okay. But then I thought, actually, there's probably a lot of people like myself that are currently rushing around trying to find those last minute gifts. Maybe they're stocking fillers, maybe they're just this, maybe it's the secret Santa, maybe it's something else. But you only have a few days to do it. So this is my kind of top 10 things you can buy for bike type people on Amazon. And from when I was making this video, they're all available next day delivery. So you should be able to get them tomorrow if you're watching this today. Or their next day delivery. I need to find some warmer to record my videos. That's what I want for Christmas. These are in no particular order. They're just, I'm gonna reel them off in my list uh, as I rip them. Uh, but number one is the air bell. That looks like this. If you're someone like me, uh, I'm a big fan of air tags. I think they're really cool. Um, I've been still been trying to work out the best way to fit them on one of my retro bikes. Um, some of my more modern bikes have bigger frames and kind of like more or better access points. So you can kind of put them inside the frame. Um, but uh, for the retro bikes, it's a little bit more difficult. There's a few companies making little adapters that go on bottle cage mounts and things that go underneath your seat, but a lot of them are quite obvious. Um, this, on the other hand, looks like one of those really crappy cheap bells that you buy or get with a bike for free. Um, so no one's gonna look at it that closely. Um, this one, you unscrew it, you put your air tag in, and then bam, you've got a tracker on your bike. You've got a stupid bell, but you've got a tracker on your bike. Um, obviously this one's 25 pounds for the tracker and then however much an air tag is. So, you know, maybe they already have air tag or maybe you want to get them both, who knows? Uh, the next is uh, potentially more one of the more boring ones in this list, um, but it's the Elite Fly water bottles, one of these. Um, I really like water bottles, bit of a weird thing to say, uh, but I've got tons of them. I'm always buying new water bottles and the Elite Fly ones are one of my favorites. Uh, this one's £6.95. Um, they, uh, they come in lots of different versions. If you have more time, you can get them online from different brands. Um, Mock Off make one. I've got a couple of those. They're really bright and pink, so that's awesome. Um, but they're the lightest, more most durable and nicest to drink out of bottles that I've found, at least. Uh, and £6.95. It's pretty cheap. Elite Fly bottles. You can never have enough multi-tools, but you could just buy a multi-tool or you could buy a pretty decent one. The Crank Brother 17 multi-tool um, is, in my opinion, one of the best out there. Uh, this one is, let me check my notes, $25.99. Um, it's, uh, it's a really solid multi-tool. I think it's probably got most things most people would need on any ride, um, and they're quite light and quite compact. Uh, so multi-tools are a win-win anyway. This one in particular is a very good one. The day I discovered stick-on patches for repairing inner tubes and stuff like that uh, was a really good day. I think they're one of the greatest inventions ever made. Pa doing a patch on the side of the road, especially in the cold, with the glue and the getting them to set and it's not sticking properly and then you've got to clean it off and start it, it's a pain in the ass. These, on the other hand, are really, really good. Um, these ones are made by Part Tool. I've used a couple of different brands, but I always end up getting more of these. And they're really cheap as well. These ones are $6.99, but you get two packets. So that's pretty sweet. Um, I highly rate these. Uh, I've used them for a couple of years now. And like I said, I always end up going back for these. I've got tons of them. Whenever I kind of notice that they're on offer or Amazon suggests, oh, you may have run out of these. I just get some more because they're really good and I live in London and I get lots of punches. But anybody who rides bikes, rides bikes, will love some of these. The 
This is uh, the first of a couple muck-off products. Uh, the first one is one of my favourite muck-off products, which is the drivetrain cleaner. This stuff uh, is really, really good for cleaning pretty much anything. It's designed for the drivetrain cleaner because that stuff gets really, really gunky. Um, but being someone who restores bikes, uh, I use this for cleaning, cleaning out any old grease and stuff like that because it just eats through it like nothing. And um, they are £10 a bottle, so they're not the cheapest degreaser in the world, um, but I would probably say it's one of the best ones I've ever used. Um, so they're, it's, it's kind of a no-brainer for me. But anybody who rides bikes, if they don't clean their chains, then then they're probably going to be on Santa's naughty list because you should clean your chain. And here's some really good drivetrain cleaner. Add that to your list. The next one is a particularly exciting one. Uh, a friend of mine, Ryan, got me in Secret Santa this year and um, naturally, most people when they buy me gifts these days buy me some bike related. Uh, Ryan did not disappoint and got me bike balls. I mean, who wouldn't want that? So the designs are kind of hang from the back of your seat uh, and they just dangle like balls. But I, f I think it's a really funny gift and I really liked it. And um, I've used it pretty much every day since he bought them for me. Um, so bike balls, I highly rate these. And these are 16.95, so worth every penny. The next is also questionably a boring one, uh, but I know for me, if this was in my stocking or I opened up a couple of these, um, I'd be pretty stoked on it. It's a pretty good gift, especially for someone who commutes. Um, but this is inner tubes. I know, brilliant idea. One of my many charged spoons is very slowly dropping off that shelf. It's just dying to become part of a bike. Um, if you're someone who doesn't know a lot about bikes or potentially buying these gifts to someone uh, and you have no idea about bikes at all, which is the same sentence just said two different slightly ways, it's a good beer. On all tyres, you will have a measurement that is really hard to see in this light. I'm going to film it and then add it here. It's here now. So this. So for example, this tyre is a 700 by 37C. Um, 700 is the size of the actual wheel itself, and then the 37 in this case is the, the thickness of the, of the actual wheel tire itself. Um, most inner tubes will be one of the wheel sizes, so they may, may, might be 27.5, they might be 26, or they might be 700C. Um, that's the wheel sizes, and then each wheel size has a few different sizes of inner tubes. The main second part is the very important part um, because the 37C generally it'll be like from 30 to 40 for example so as long as it's within that bracket then those inner tubes will fit that bike. Simple. Inner tubes. I personally think that's one of the best ones. Bike pizza cutter. If you're like me and you ride bikes you like pizza. I eat so much pizza, it's why I have to ride bikes. There's quite a few bike pizza cutters out there. Uh, Park Tool make one. Uh, I think there's a few other tool companies and bike companies that make their own versions of them. Um, but uh, the one that I found that is on Amazon, you can get it next day delivery, but also you can build it. That's right, buy yourself a little pizza cutter and you have to put all the parts on. Bike builder's dream. I'm really good at this, really good. The next one is for a more uh, specific type of rider. Um, I quite like going out deep into the forest and making myself a coffee on my ride. Uh, quite a lot of people like doing this. Few people are into like bike packing and things like that. They'll love this type of thing. Uh, but you can buy these gourmet coffee bags. Uh, these things you quite literally just put hot water in them, zip it up a little bit, it brews in there, you pour it out. And I've had them quite a lot of times. The brand that I've got on the screen right now and in the description below, um, I've used these guys. I really like it, it's pretty decent, especially for forest coffee. I mean, I really like them, they're great. So it's a bit of a curveball, coffee bags. 
So the last one and another Muckoff product is the 18 one Muckoff kit. Um, this is great for someone who is new to cycling and doesn't have any Muckoff kit at all. Um, or it's someone like me who has everything Muckoff have made um, and just might need a replenishment. Um, these are, this has everything that most people would use for Muckoff. It has all their best kind of stuff, but it also has one of those Muckoff buckets so you can use that for cleaning stuff. Um, I have my i have one of these before and i've got it storing stuff in them uh, so maybe i'll buy another one or maybe someone will buy me one of these um and uh, i'll have a new bucket and i can put other stuff in it so uh yeah that's a pretty good one isn't it so that's my kind of top 10 list that i spent a bit of time working on um there's probably some more stuff on there i mean there's definitely more stuff out there so if you know more about that person and you kind of searched through the bike accessories and bike bits and even just kind of bike gifts on Amazon, you'll find something more suited for that person. Um, but I felt like that was a kind of a good mix of things. Um, I wanted to give you two more tips. Uh, one is if you're looking for more of a main present, um, it's something big that you have a lot of money for and you're like, actually, this would be really good. And the other thing is just a bit of advice. Um, the first thing is the kind of the big thing. So um, action cameras. Um, these are probably the best gifts I've ever been given. My wife bought me a, a GoPro years and years and years ago and it was, it was a sick present, really, really cool. Um, you'll probably know if they have one of these, and if they don't have one of these, you probably know about it anyway, because they talk about wanting one all the time. Anybody who cycles, these come in really handy, and there's two types you can get these days. There's a 360 camera. I used the Insta360 One X2. Uh, they've just released a new one, but if you can find the One X2 on deal, uh, for most people, that was a kind of sketchy noise. I think my roof is hopefully not falling down. There's not loads of differences between the latest one and the new one for most people. So um, if you find this one on a good deal and they don't have any 360 camera, it's a brilliant, brilliant camera. The other one is GoPros. Uh, GoPro have the uh, 11 out now. Um, I still use a nine. Um, the nine is really, really good. The biggest differences between this one and the latest one, um, if there's someone like myself, for example, who posts a lot on Instagram and on social media, the new one has a much bigger sensor. Uh, so when you're cropping it afterwards to put onto Instagram as a reel, or if you're just doing it on YouTube like this, uh, you have that option. So if you know that they're really into doing stuff or you know they they have a social media following or they you know they're really into that kind of stuff like the newest one is really good if there's someone like me who does a bit of footage when they're riding around the nine is perfectly good the last thing i wanted to say is if you know this person really really well um and you know a bit about bikes yourself uh you probably know where their bikes are and kind of what they have and what they might be looking for um but go and have a look at their bike look at what's kind of on it um, if you're into cycling yourself you probably could spot maybe the tires might be wearing out um, you might know that they use the same tire all the time so buying them another tire one tire would probably make the world a difference if you bought a new set that'd be an incredible present um, it's quite easy again we uh, talked about the inner tubes to find out the exact size that they're running um, so tires are a great great one um, but and if you're not sure but you want to find something more specific uh, if you video their bike and kind of close up of some of the components and kind of stuff on there and you weren't sure and you took that down to one of your local bike shops I can guarantee you they'd be more than willing to help you work out what sort of stuff that person would want for their bike um, if they anybody who sees a bike especially if it's a retro bike like we talk about here all the time um, they'll know what they're about they'll know what they like um, I'm sure most of you regular viewers would know exactly what I like on my bikes and same goes for your family and friends so yeah if you know them well enough you'll probably find something pretty cool like that and that's it that's the end of the, my Christmas gift video uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was useful if it wasn't useful at least I hope you enjoyed watching it and um, if anybody's wondering yeah finish the beer one last thing if you're watching this or you know someone who watches my channel, there's always saveoldbikes.com. Uh, I've got loads of merch and stickers that are on there. Um, I can guarantee you they will not arrive for Christmas. So that's probably more if you're one of the people that watch my content regularly and you'd like some of your own stickers. Um, in that case, then uh, that's the website. I'd love it if you went and checked it out. But that's it. I hope you have a really good Christmas. Uh, thanks to all my subscribers that have joined me over the last year. And um, if you want to join us for the rest of the next year, 
um, why don't you hit the subscribe button? Um, I've got endless amounts of bikes coming. I've got some really special ones. I've got some really fancy upgrades that I want to do some current bikes. And um, yeah, we're doing this. We're here for the long haul. So uh, subscribe. And if you uh, want to watch some more of my content, if you are new to the channel, this one is a particularly good one. Cheers.